Welcome to the Crew 2 Closed Beta, boys. I promised you guys two videos today, and that is exactly what we are doing. So, uh, this is currently part two of our mini Let's Play series. If you missed part one, I will link to it down below, and you guys can check it out for yourself. Some other things you might have missed is that we are currently doing a giveaway. We have five extra codes for the Crew 2 Closed Beta that you can win on the PC, Xbox One, or the PS4, any platform, just by clicking the link in the description down below. We're choosing a winner tomorrow night, and then you guys will have the entire weekend and Monday and Tuesday to play the Crew 2 Closed Beta completely for free. So if you want to check this game out for yourself, you didn't receive a code, or one of your friends needs a code, link is down below. Anyways, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to do some of the street racing stuff. So last episode we went and we started up the four different disciplines in the Crew 2 and we got through all of the tutorial stuff. Now what I wanted to do is come into the Crew 2 and actually start going through those disciplines so we can level up from Rookie, start earning some money so we can do some customization stuff, and see what we can do to our Mustang that we got at the end of last episode. So that's gonna be the goal for today. So let's see- oh my god, I'm just fast traveling in a plane. Alright, I guess- I guess we're going in here! Wait, is this- how does this work? How does this work? I'm just driving a plane in an underground garage. Uh, guys. Five minutes later. Do we need people to drive in here to accept the invite? Is that what ha- is that what happens? Uber damn powerboat. Maybe let's give that one a go. Okay, now I'm in a single player game. Will this work? Okay, switch vehicle. Do I want to switch vehicle? No, this is the only one I have. It's the proto thingy mabob or mabob. Is it gonna work? Yes! So all I needed to do was go offline. All right, so our first proper boat race, or our first proper race in the crew two. Let's see how we do. Our goal is to come in the top three. We'll see how hard this is. I don't really know. I gotta remember to trim and like pull, pull back on my stick because that apparently makes me much faster. I don't know what these red things are. Apparently I can just drive into them though. I'm gonna take the jump. Take the jump like a beast. Holy shit. Okay, the AI is pretty quick. Whoa, this is insane. Also, we I, I guess we're gonna get... Here's my thing with this game, right? We're gonna get a bunch of money, and I'm just gonna be putting it all into cars. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be a cool boat and a cool plane every now and again. But 90% of my money is just gonna be going straight into cars. Look at that, I'm winning now, by the way. Hell yeah. Oh shit, is this the dam? No! No! <laughs> Alright, I feel like we would have gone slightly underwater from that. But you know, it's all good. All good. So that's the Hoover Dam. I'm pretty sure. I called the Statue of Liberty a thing last episode, and people were not happy with me, to say the least. Okay. Well, with that one corner, I've dropped down to fourth place now. Wilson, screw up, please. This is not good. Okay, at least I'm in the top three, which is all I needed to do. Could have been a lot better than that. That was really cool. So we reached our objective. So what does that mean? So we win 1,800 fans and we win 13,000 money. Okay. That's pretty good. We're up to 50k now. Money-wise, that's, that's solid. I like it. Let's go and actually do that street race that I wanted to do earlier all the way over here. Cool. Oh, wait. This is a different street race. <laughs> Okay, well, we're in our vehicle. Cool. Uh, once again, apologies in advance for the sheer lack of driving ability because manual shifting in this game is really weird. Remember to shift with my bumpers this time. Okay, this is like a weird five-man race. Very weird five-man race. So what was my goal? I didn't even see what my goal was. I think it was top three, but I was not paying attention. I was trying to focus on remembering to shift properly. Never mind. Every time my natural instinct is to press the wrong button to shift. It is unbelievably annoying. Oh shit, we're in the LA River. Oh shit. That's really cool. Uh, we also do need to step up our game quite a bit. Because we are not doing so well back here. This is cool though. Look at them all go. They're running through the water. I'm like, wh why would you do that? The water's got to be so much slower. I'm trying to stay, like... I'm trying to stay up here. Okay, I press the handbrake again. Every time I want to shift down, my instinct is to press the X button. And that's my handbrake in this game. 
It's very annoying. All right. You know what? I can't deal with these controls. They are far too stupid. Let us change our goddamn controls because that is the most annoying control set I have ever seen. It has been compromising me in every single race. It has affected the way I drive. They need to fix the way you shift your car in this game because that is not acceptable. Also, I'm not doing so well. I'm, I'm, I'm in fourth place. I'm 50% of the way through this race. Oh, okay. Like, obviously, there's a learning period for every single game, but this is just frustrating. All right, there we go. Up to fourth now. Janice in third. Come on. Nice little corner cut there. Hell yeah. I gotta figure out these physics. It's weird. Your car likes to slide out a lot, and you... I don't know. You, I, I gotta get used to it. It's very different. Like, I'm not saying the physics are bad. It's just... I'm really not used to them right now. And I really got to get used to them if I at all want to be competitive. Because right now, I am I am struggling hard. Like, I just don't know how much to break for corners. I don't know when I should be slowing down, when I should be turning in, stuff like that. And it's really, really annoying. Mustang versus Mustang. No! No! Did I actually just ruin my whole race with that one move? I ran, I ran too wide or I ran fast into the corner. And I ruined it. No, I'm gonna be in dead last. I'm gonna need to do this race again. I, I need to do it again. That's not good enough. Oh, I get 420 fans for coming last. I'm honestly surprised I didn't lose fans for that. I feel like the AI are also very, very rubber bandy, which is sort of off-putting. All right, at least I'm having a much better race right now. Already up to first place. I'm leading as we're 10% into this thing. Hell freaking yeah. Who left a bunch of tires in the LA River, man? Like, what do you do? It's a bed. It's a couch. All right. Definitely would recommend switching to automatic gears because manual is just no bueno. This feels so much better right now. And look, I'm actually... I'm... Whoa. I'm destroying. I'm... I'm in first place by 3.6 seconds. Four seconds now I'm in front. Oh, boys, I think the rubber banding's kicking in. They're catching up a lot. <laughs> there you go. I told you. I told you, man. Cut the corner. No way. That's actually a viable corner cut? What? That's insane. Yep, rubber banding's kicking in hard. He's in a little Fiat, and you're telling me he's keeping up with my Mustang. This is a really fun game, though, from what I've been able to play so far. Like, it is very, very cool. I just I just need to get used to the physics and stuff like that. Because right now, it's, like, demoralizing when stuff like that happens. Boys, we're nearly there. No, are you serious? You pass me again with 10% in this race left to go? Come on, Glenn. All right, Glenn, you're not going to take that jump. You're not gonna take that jump. No, you are not, sir. I get the corner cut of a century. Goodbye. Glenn, Glenn's gone. All right. Well, there you go. That's apparently how you do it. Let the AI win until you're on like the final 10% and then go for it. Take your corner cut and absolutely blow them away. I really wanna go and start like customizing this thing. It's gonna be super cool. Like I wanna put a big wang on this. As silly as it would look. I really, really want to. So you know what? Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are these lines? Oh, are those the lines I just drove? I think it is. I think that's the course I just drove. Oh, that's cool. All right, so let's head over to my house because my house is the place where you can customize your vehicles and stuff. So now we can do visual performance or visual, uh, visual customization stuff, which is super, super cool. There's a lot of parts <gasps> in here. I think we got to go with the big shaker. The big carbon shaker with the carbon bits. Hell yeah, four grand. Like, I don't want to spend all of my money on this thing, but I feel like making it look a little different would be pretty cool. Like, that looks pretty sick. Yeah, let's do that. There's 83 different types of rims, too. That's pretty insane. Hell yeah, that looks awesome. Let's make, okay, I think we're going to make our Mustang blue, so let's make our calipers blue. That's freaking sick. Side mirrors. Carbon? Yeah, let's keep that carbon carbon thingy up. Oh, can we get a big wang? Yeah, we can. It's very unnecessary. 
but I'm liking it. Rear bumper, we need something sort of similar. Oh, look at that. That looks like a, a GT350. I really like this one. This one looks awesome. Interior color. Oh, hell yeah. Bright blue? I think so. Interior style? No way. That's so sick. Oh, that's awesome. There's so much stuff you can do. Color? Okay. Since we made our car or our seats and our calipers blue, we need to make our color or our car blue. All right. We got to go metallic blue, boys. Look at that. That's incredible. Boys, look at that. Look at that Mustang. Oh, oh. I love it. All right. Let's go and let's go and drive this thing around. Let's hit up another street race. See what our see what our baby blue Mustang can do. All right. Where is another street race for us to go and hit? So this is the one we did already. We did the sleeper street race. Let's go and do this one all the way up here. It is the Strip South Street Race. Okay. All right, let's start this one up, boys. So again, I'm running automatic and I'm running with crew turned off. Wait, is my car too fast? Oh no, get to the starting grid, okay. Where's the starting grid? It's somewhere up here. Oh, okay, I see. A hundred yards up here. Oh, look at this. Everyone's here for me. They're waiting. Oh, look at my Mustang. Look how cool it looks. The big wing is absurd. And that NOS off the straights, man. All right, let's see what the AI is doing. They got a Dodge Viper in this race? Yeah, problem with the Mustang, it does like to turn. Or it doesn't like to turn, unless it's into a crowd. It's just a consequence of choosing this car. That's all, okay. All right, let's keep it going. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> this is insane. This game is crazy. It's making you drive basically under planes. Okay. Sorry, Mustang. Man, choosing a Mustang in this game is a risky thing. Because, <laughs> man, there's a lot of pedestrians. I'm sorry if you are a Mustang fan. It is still fun to make fun of Mustangs. As much as I do like them, it is fun. Anyways, 50%, so that is lap number one finished up. The Dodge Viper goes through that one. I go through that one. I carry way more speed. Thank you very much. Look at this place on our right. It's like a castle. This almost reminds me of back in... Do you remember PGR? There was a PGR game that had Las Vegas. I don't remember if it was three or four. Maybe it was both. But there was a really cool PGR game that had Las Vegas, and you drove through, like the strip as well. It's it's reminding me of that. Oh my god, you got like the Luxor. You got actual landmarks. It's crazy. The people are right behind. Oh my god, he's actually right next to me. Uh, I guess we're going this way. Can I get away with this? Where am I going? No! I went the wrong way! No, not now! Not like this! Come on, finish line! I was leading the entire time, and I went the wrong way, and it absolutely bit me. So I guess what? We're doing this one again. Yay! <laughs> How is it this difficult? It's not even hard. It's just, I went the wrong way, and I got shafted. Okay, there we go. Much better. <laughs> I didn't get screwed over that time. Thank you very much, game. <laughs> First place. All right, 2,000 fans, $15,000. That's more like it. And now we're actually getting our money back that we spent on customizing the car. Fantastic. What's this? What's that thing? I just drove into like a part. Break. I just got performance parts. Okay, wait, wait, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. How does it, how does this work? Oh, there's the track I drove again. How does this work? Okay, performance. How does this work exactly? So we have this part, which is a motor core and we have brakes. Okay, so brakes, we've got 112 and 128 which increases our perf level in the top right there it brings our top speed down actually but our braking distance oh it doesn't actually tell me what our stock braking distance is okay well we'll put it on sure and same thing goes for the motor core motor core gives us two extra miles an hour seven more horsepower brings our zero to 60 time down like crazy cool let's toss it on nice awesome and you can actually see the parts those look very cool awesome so let's, uh, let's go do another race. So where are my other races? Oh, there's one all the way over here. Motor Trend Classic Challenge Street Race. Let's do that one. So it says my, my performance level, mine is 60 or 116 and the recommended is 80. So yeah, I shouldn't have a problem with this. 
Like, my car should be blitzing this. Anyways, let's go see what we can do. There's a really nice Porsche up there that I really, really like. There's some cool JDM stuff. I wonder how much customization there really is for some of that JDM stuff. Like, I don't know. Maybe we can toss wide bodies on stuff. I'm really, really not sure. Let's go, though. Let's push. Let's see what I can do in this thing. Again, our goal is to come in the top three break. I'm, I'm figuring out the braking distance. This is getting good. I'm learning. I'm learning how to play this game, which is a good thing. So I actually don't know what's going to happen after this race, though. Because what, what we've done is we've done all of the street race stuff uh, for this guy. And then we'll need to, I guess, get given other stuff. I mean, there are, like, the speed cameras and stuff like that that we can do. But I don't think that's going to be part of the campaign, necessarily. Also, look at us go in this Mustang. Lap number one completed. We are destroying the air. Watch out, buddy. Mustang coming through. You too. All, all of you guys need to watch. There's a Mustang on the loose. This Mustang is so good, though. Like, I really wasn't expecting this thing to be so satisfying. But, like, the sounds, the flames, those huge exhausts. It's really, really cool. Okay, grinding the wall. Okay, let's go. Is this the finish line? Yes, it is. Okay, 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 okay. How every single time do I nearly bottle it on the last corner of the last lap? Luckily, I came second place there, but that was very risky. We are up to the popular rank. We have $80,000. Ooh, I got these. I got these. What are these? I don't know what those are. Performance part, brakes, and a gearbox. Interesting. Okay, cool. What's this? Thank you. Okay. Nope, I... All right, apparently we're buying the crew too now. Let's go back, thank you. See you at launch to discover new discipline events, challenges, customization, and more. Cool, thanks game. So I guess that's all we're gonna be able to do. So we're actually not gonna be able to leave Rookie. Look what it does to us. It locks our followers at 14,999. Interesting. So, uh, you just ran through my car. Um, so we can actually, like, do more events and stuff. It's not over, but... We won't be able to get any more followers in the closed beta. I see how it is. Okay. So we've done the three main events. So that's pretty good. Let's go and do... I mean, we've done a boat race. Let's go and do... Let's go and do another boat race. Pacific, Pacific Coast Power Boat. Is that a fake Amazon? It says every zone. Is that a fake Amazon? It looks like it with the arrow pointing up, the font, the circle. Cheeky buggers. All right. Let's do it. Boat race. Let's see what we can- Oh, I missed the starting grid. Turn! Turn! Get to the starting grid! Turn! Don't miss my race! Thank you! I like how my guy's wearing a little funny hat under his helmet, like, Hey, look at me! Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh my god, that guy number seven, Lawrence, absolutely pulled away. Let's see, though. Let's push. So some of these guys are in, like, these non-convertible boats, which I assume are mega, mega quick. I don't know. I, I feel like they are. I don't know why. I'm actually having a lot of trouble catching up to the, a the AI on this. Like, I'm pushing as hard as possible. But I've only just entered fifth place. There we go. There's fourth. I'm just trying to straight line it as much as possible in the boats. Like, I'm noticing the AI likes to weave around a lot. I'm just trying to keep it straight as possible. I, I guess that's what you're supposed to do in a boat, but... Like I was saying last episode, I have no idea about anything to do with boats or planes. So you guys will have to help me out. Look at me go, boys. Look at me go. 62% and I am taking victory. Oh, man. We're going all the way out to this huge yacht. Look at this boat. Oh, my God. That is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Second biggest thing. And if you're wondering what the uh, the first biggest thing I've ever seen, it's Raymond's bald spot. <gasps> no. Oh, karma. Oh. Well, uh, that didn't go super well. We were doing so well again and again. We bottle it on the last corner. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. If you did, you can subscribe for more. Go enter the giveaway if you would like to play this game for yourself and give it a go. Until the next time, though, I'm going to go and drown my sorrows. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more of the crew, too. See you guys then. Bye!